Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Halftime report for September of 2023, Star Trek month. All the pens themed around Star Trek. Well, as I'm recording today, it's a really wet, windy and thundery day here just south of Perth. You may be able to hear the thunder every so often and definitely the wind is howling by the window. So hopefully when I'm editing this, I can take out most of that wind noise. I've just edited a bit out. There was a massive peal of thunder. How have I been getting on with this month's pens? Well, we started off, there was this. This is the Jinhao 100 Centennial. It's gorgeous blue colour. In there, I had Robert Oster Blue Water Ice. I love the way this looks. Just look at that. It's got a number six size nib. I've still got the original Jinhao nib on here. A couple of people have suggested swapping the nibs for another number six, and I might do that, although I do quite like this nib. This pen's empty now. Here we go. It's a cartridge converter. I love this model. I've got a number of Jinhao 100s, and all of them write really nicely. They all fit so well in the hand. As you can see there, it's such a nice fit. Nice length, nice size section. Really nice, pretty pen. Really comfortable to use. Puts down a really good line. It's a pen, the best thing I can say for it, I've got no issues with it. It's just so nice. Not really much really to complain about. Maybe it could do with being... I'll tell you one thing which would be nice. I know it's not possible. It'd be nice if instead of having that cartridge converter, I'd love to have this as a piston filler and maybe with a little bit of a demonstrator niche. I think that would be perfect. But I'm just being picky for picky's sake. Really enjoying this pen. Next up, Pen BBS 308. So this one is a demonstrator, cartridge converter. All the fittings out of plastic, so although I've not tried it, I would think it's possible to eyedropper this. Don't intend to try it. Maybe I should. But my biggest issue with this is the nib. So with that 100, that was a medium nib. But all I could get this in is a fine. So here's the fine nib there. Let me see, put my hand around it. Let me move that, see if I can get that into the focal point. It's a nice nib. It's another number six nib. I think this is one. It definitely doesn't need to be changed. I've got a, a broad nib, which might look nice in here. So I may try that. I've also got a couple of mediums. I'm not sure. But I think this is one. Next time I use it, I need to put a different nib on. Not saying the nib's not nice. Just not to my taste. The ink that I had in here is by Cold Pens and it's a deep dark green. As you see, it's still got a l well, there's no ink left in there, but I haven't got around to giving it a proper clean yet, so I need to give this another clean. Downside with this, it's this little agitator. It makes it actually quite difficult for me to get in and do the, a really deep clean with that. So that's something that I'll work on. Uh, so that's going to go into the pot now for cleaning in the next day or so. Pen number three, really flying through. This is the Hondian N8. This is in the flying feathers. So hopefully you can see that glorious pattern there and feathers that are embossed there on the cap. Very, very nice. Nice nib on this. So this is a medium nib. Again, number six size nib. So got the opportunity there to change it. This ran out of ink really quickly. So I filled it up with a different ink. The ink I've put in here is to match with the Star Trek theme. So I put die mine Stargazer. Stargazer being um, Captain Picard's first command ship. It's very nice. It's a nice pen. I like this ink. It's like a blue-black ink. There's a little bit of, I think, is it maybe a red sheen? And then there's also a really nice pale blue shimmer. Looks really nice when that all three of them come together. Writes very well. Even though I've got the shimmer ink in here, not had any issues so far. So I'll say, we can see there, cartridge converter, not had any issues with this getting blocked. And that's one of the things I find with a number of my pens. If I put a shimmer ink in it, they get blocked and I have a terrible writing experience. So far, this one's been fine. Slightly translucent there in the barrel. I don't know if it's coming over on the camera. So you can just about see that there's a converter in there. Again, it's a comfortable pen, very, very similar shape-wise to what I see with the Jinhao 100. Nice and comfortable. Section a little bit on the thin side, but not unusably so. So that's a Hongdian N8. Next up, 
we jump to the over $100 category. Here, we've got the Just Turnins Enceladus. Let me just move this so hopefully we can capture this with the light. Very pretty. This is called Golden Blue Jade, so it's Blanks material. Nib on here is a Yoho nib. This is a broad nib. There we go. I'll try and get that into the focus point. Struggling with that today. This is another one. It's a cartridge converter. There we go. Not a lot of ink left in here. This is actually the second fill of this ink. Really like using this pen. Really like the ink as well. The ink is Robert Oster Tranquility. It's a beautiful, like, tealy colour. And I, I always enjoy using that ink, no matter what pen I've got it in. The pen, nice length. The section, quite a nice width as well. Slight concaveness there to the section. Really nice. That material continuing all the way in. Can't see any holes in this. You know, it's a, it's a hand-turned pen. So wouldn't expect to see anything like that. So I'm thinking you could possibly get away again with eyedropper in. I've not tried it, don't intend to try it, but it's just something if you feel experimental and you want to risk it, might be worth someone trying it. But yeah, just turning to Enceladus. Very nice pen. I say it's just so pretty. I'm really struggling this month, you know, with all my pens because I've got to be honest, I don't have a bad thing to say about any of them. So next up, we've got the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I'm just glancing down at my uh, notes here. This has got a 14 karat gold nib. So here's the nib. Again, try and... I know I keep saying this in a lot of my videos. My preview is back to front compared to what I'm doing. So if I move my hands this way on my preview, it goes the other way. So trying to get these into the focus point is quite difficult. Cartridge converter. There we go. A bit of ink in there still. This is Diamine Aurora Borealis in here. Why I've got that ink in here, it's one which I do match a lot with this pen. This pen, the material is called Blue Green Nebula. And it's got this gorgeous sparkle in it. Again, I'm going to just try to turn this around, see if it'll catch the light that I'm recording under. Glorious pen. This is one of my best writing pens. It really is nice. It is such a lovely nib. I think if I could put this nib on any of my other pens, I would do so because the nib, wow. I, I just, it's got that gorgeous feedback. Just the way it feels, how it writes is so nice. I have to use this pen posted. Unposted, it is a little bit on the short side, but posted, it's very nice. Section, bit on the thin side. Again, not too bad. It's not really something I'd overly worry about, but just a nice, glorious pen. Main thing which puts me off this, and I'll talk about it more in the wrap-up video, it is quite a pricey pen. It's not a cheap pen. Just dropping in to interrupt your regular programming. Would you like to help support the channel? If so, please consider joining as a member. As a member, you'll get early access to my videos. I normally upload them a couple of days before they go out. And as soon as they're uploaded, they'll be released to members. There'll also be a shout out at the end of the videos. And then as we get the members coming in, we'll actually chat among ourselves and work out what other perks, what other things you'd like me to add in. You know, would you like maybe a monthly live chat just for members. All down to us. So please, if you can, consider joining the channel. A link will be in the description down below. My final pen. This is the Waterman Karen. Again, it's a nice pen. I love this marine amber colour. Hopefully that's going to come over there. Very nice pen. Very nice writer on here. I've got an 18 karat gold medium nib. In here, I've got Diamine Earl Grey. So again, cartridge converter, metal, metal fittings. I like these two little rings at the bottom because when I'm putting the body on, it gives it like a soft landing. The pen does feel fairly thin. That's the nature of this inlaid nib though.
It's not awkward. It's not really getting in the way. It just feels a bit on the thin side. I use this on Post-it. To be honest, it will post, but I don't because I, I don't really want to risk damaging this material. It's very, very nice. And just, again, look at this nib. 18 karat gold and trying to get it. Oh, I went right past it there. There we go. See if I can catch that in the light a bit for you. Nice nib. This is a very expensive pen. I, I have priced it up recently, and they were talking about $400 Aussie dollars. A lot of money for a pen. It is, you know, I'm not going to say it's a work of art, but it is very elegant. When I'm writing with this, I have noticed there's a bit of a sweet spot with the nib. And if I, so I can be writing away, but if I slightly rotate it, then it will just stop writing. Or I'll start getting a lot of skipping. And it's literally just a slight rotation back and it's fine. So that's something I need to look at in a bit more detail. I haven't noticed that as much with the current in the Diamine Earl Grey. I did get a lot of it with the previous ink. I can't remember what that ink was. And what I did is I gave the pen a really good clean before I put the Earl Grey in. So it could be maybe there was a bit of dried ink or something. The other big issue I get with this pen is actually here on the section. I'm not writing now, but what I find is when I'm writing with this pen, I end up with, just around here, I've got, end up with a, well, it's grey because it's so grey, with a grey spot. So there is some kind of ink leakage coming from that. So all I do is just want, every so often, I take my kitchen roll and wipe it down. But it's still something to be aware of. I have brought in a number of other pens. Not going to talk about them today. They'll be brought out when we do our final wrapper. Been loving this month. I say I like having themes and theming this around Star Trek. I mean, we had the end of Strange New Worlds. That was only a few weeks ago. And then just last week, we had the start of Season 4 of Lower Decks. So really nice, especially when you consider like this one. The character that I picked for this one, not that one, I'm picking out the wrong one. This one, the Pen BBS 308, the character that I picked for that is in Lower Decks. So it's nice to be able to see that. So that's my halftime report. How are you going with your pens this month? Is there anything you're learning about them? Is there anything you're learning about the way you're writing, how you use things, even down to papers? I've changed my paper this month and I found that using a different paper is really changing the way the pen feels completely. Why not drop a comment down below? Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.